What a freaking mess do we have here. All right, what's going on guys? As you can see, I have a massive mess over here. To outline today, I got a bunch of these freaking paper towels so we can clean some shit up. But uh, today, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, cause this is my head, so wait, we didn't put these, uh, these paper towels. I'm gonna shove these in there, tape that off, cut it out, tape off the top, uh, tape off the valve covers, and anything else that needs to be taped off, really and then just get to cleaning this damn thing so I can paint it before Callie gets here. So when Callie gets here, I could paint her bay. And for those asking, oh, why are you doing all this? Like, what, what does it matter? Like, realistically, like, the engine will take me, you know, an hour by myself to put in. It's not a big deal. So with this, I want it to look good. I want it to be in there and looking good. If the engine's out, why not? We're not going to sit here. We're spray painting the bay. We're not going to forget it. We just want it black. It's not a big deal, guys. Uh, I don't know if I want to paint this silver or black or silver with these just redone black. I don't know. But we got to clean all this up because VQs are oily bitches. And I got to flip it over and I'm taking this whole upper oil pan off. Because now would be the best time to do it. I'm definitely never going to do that in the car. Redoing the, not the rear main seal. Rear main seal is actually good. What I'm going to do is redo the seal underneath the rear main seal. So that's what leaks. That's what leaked on my car. Same with the seal underneath the front main seal right here. I want to redo all that, reseal everything. As you can tell, the engine gets super oily down here. So we got to redo that. It's, uh, it's pretty dooky. And I want the engine nice and clean and silver. So you guys already know I bought that same paint because obviously I can't put this whole thing in a parts cleaner. So let's get to work on that. I wanted to keep those black, so that's what I did there. Got this on. I'm doing pretty good. And I painted the uh, the main pulley also just because I want it to be black, you know? Look a little bit better. Starting to get all this stuff back on and together. We're looking good. So Callie showed up. Finally. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Show the shirt, show the shirt. Look at this shirt. If anybody has an explanation, let me know. She just bought it because it's quirky. No, I bought it because it makes no sense. Exactly. Tumblr ass. <laughs> what? No, they get <laughs> A mini car show going on at the shop this right is now. So cool. You're hype. Obviously. You used to not even like these kind of cars. I don't care about Who put it. you it's on, just, though? It just, no, Who put you on? Cool it was me. Like I did it. Gonna... Can we go eat? I'm having pains. Okay. I so put that on. From here to here. Going from the bottom of my lung, my lung, <laughs> my lung to the top of my lung. Same. Let's go over there. Oh my god! <laughs> Ooh. Your exhaust is a menace, Callie. That's it's gonna happen again. Is it on or off? You just turned it on, actually. No. I can't sing that note. I got food in my mouth. I don't like this one. That was late. It always is. Watch. It's just the washers then. <laughs> I thought you were going to steal it. All right, well, we're back from eating my goal for so. So let me just start by saying my goal for tonight is to like get the bottom all set up. Get this all, get, take this off. Right now I'm going to take this off, get this all resealed, get Callie's engine bay painted. And we're going to try to just put the engine in the bay so that tomorrow it's just like fill up fluids, like tranny, obviously like oil, tranny fluid, 
just you know the, the normal fluids uh, drive shaft exhaust all that good stuff I just want the engine in the bay tonight I think I don't know we'll, we'll, we'll see again there's no reason to rush this it's not like the event is tomorrow the event is the 20th so if you guys are wondering why we're taking like extra steps here it's because the engine's out why not make things look a little bit nicer it doesn't she doesn't need it she's not going to register it she's not going to be driving it any, anytime soon we're not worried about this we're worried about her car for h2o her subi this is not a big deal but it just so happens that i found an easy way to fix it so yeah let's get this uh let's get this taken care of i'm going to go ahead and take this lower pan off i keep saying lower pan i'm going to take the upper pan off that's the lower pan over there and also there's a reason this is on the ground guys see that the reason that's on the ground and it's because I took it out yesterday. And there's some friggin' dirt in it. That's not metal, by the way. That's like friggin', I don't know, I have to clean it out. There's like, what is that, dude? It's like friggin' wood, it looks like wood pellets. Or dead bugs. There was no metal shaving in the oil yesterday, so that's good. I took it out yesterday. I know a lot of people were commenting that I didn't because I didn't show it. I did take the oil pan off yesterday. Very good. All right, now these are where you get the fattest leaks. This little horseshoe jammy that goes underneath the rear main seal. Same goes for the front main, so I'm gonna clean the shit out of this. RTV the living friggin' bejeebers out of this. Clean this mating surface, put everything back on. I'm complimenting. I'm saying you're doing good. I mean, like, I've barely started. It's a little light right here. I gotta Canadian, go. Bye. I'll see you later, Callie. <laughs> So throughout this whole thing, I've been being eBay organized as much as possible, and I still forgot to put this damn thing that the chain just like, it's not even a guide, it's just, I, it might be a guide, I don't know. It just, the chain goes on that. It's two bolts, I completely forgot about it and it's like, I can't access it from here, it's right here. So that's why all this is back off and I'm gonna have to reseal this front portion, it's gonna suck. I'm gonna have to reseal the lower pan, it's gonna also suck, but I can't leave that out. Yeah, that's why that's there. See, told you, had to do it. There was no way around it, Callie, I had to do it. Can I thread those two in there? Say your goodbyes. Long walk to my car no, no, say your goodbyes to the camera. <laughs> Callie, say bye to the camera. Thank you. <laughs> like you're, you're, you're like, thank you. All right, there she goes. So, she's at work all day. I woke up way later than she did, so I just. She, every time she's here, she's like, I feel bad. I don't want to leave you here, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, it's not your responsibility. I mean, it's her car, but at the same time, I'm like, dude, go home. Like, I got this. You know, I got this. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. So, yeah, tape this up so it doesn't get all scratched and whatnot. Very good. I'm going to tape the top of this, too, just in case. Just because I like the way it looks like nice and silver, you know? Quick, quick little, you know... Lipstick on a pig refresh for this thing, you know? Wasn't the, the cleanest thing ever, but I cleaned it as much as I could. Sprayed it, made it look, you know, half decent, and uh, we're gonna throw this John back in. Got a new head, new head gasket. We're, we're going good today, guys. All right. <laughs> All right, well, now that she's gone, because I, I didn't want to ask her to clean up or start cleaning up in front of her because I knew she would felt bad. I know she would, look, I know she would feel bad. I'm gonna clean this up real quick, just like this area, and then I'm gonna get that on the lift, 
or I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the engine on the hoist, get the hoist over here, get the tranny on the engine. Well, I actually have to get the flywheel and the clutch on the engine, and then put the tranny on the engine. And then I think I'll leave it at there because she wants to be here for putting the engine in. So tomorrow we'll be putting the engine in and getting it running. We'll be all good, guys. We'll be all good. And oh, and we need an oil filter for that. That's pretty much it. We need to put oil in it, oil filter, coolant. That's pretty much it. It's not, it's not a big, big uh, thing. And look at this. Callie did all this by herself. So much better all black. So much better. Minimal effort spray paint job, just black. Now the engine's like nice and shiny. It's gonna, it's gonna look really good in there. I'm hyped. I'm hyped to do these little things. I also wanna like, like do a custom loom on the harness and make this like all nice so it's easy to take on and off just in case and just doesn't have this ugly ass stock loom. Sorry for you OEM guys, but I like, uh, I like this type of loom right here. Serviceable folding loom. Nice, very good. All right, let's get to that. I'm gonna start cleaning up a little bit. All right guys, well, I got farther than I thought I was going to. Originally, I thought I was gonna get the engine in, but it's just, you know, things take time, and then I forgot that thing, and then it's just like, I just kind of went downhill from there. But, engine is all together, all sealed back up, new head gasket, all friggin' new RTV everywhere, all this is all sealed up, the upper oil pan, which is the biggest bitch in the car, no one wants to do it, done. Lower oil pan, done. It leaked from both before. And now that the engine is nice and painted and clean, I'm gonna be able to see the leaks now. So that's good, if it does leak. Tranny is on. Clutch alignment tool, I, I had, I, you know, I always keep those, but, so. Everything's aligned, everything's on there. No, I didn't torque the damn flywheel. I never torqued the flywheel. I never torqued the flywheel, I, I don't know. I used the big impact and it's never failed me. I don't know. You guys could be mad if you want on that one, but. So it's personal preference, you know, like I have faith in it. You guys may not. Then again, some of you may not work on cars, so it's okay. This is all ready to go in tomorrow. Engine bay is black. Shout out to Callie, dude. She did a really good job on this. It's gonna look so good. Look at, look at that. Look at the crispy. There's a little bit of oil marks over there. It's okay, I can wipe that off, but look at that. The crustiest thing is that damn alternator pulley. The whole alternator is crusty. I didn't really want to mess with that, but everything else, you know, we're going to paint this silver also. This is like the only non-painted thing. But looks really good. Didn't bother with it. Like, look, look at the front versus the tranny. Like, the tranny at one point looked like that. And now it looks like that. The engine looked like that. Now it looks like that. Will look like that plus a bunch of oil. I don't know. I'm out, guys. How's that for a timely manner, guys? Get my lady's car back on the road. Get her back drifting. When this thing is done, she'll actually want to sign up for another drift event, which is the goal. I don't want to leave this sitting for mad long and then have her just kind of like give up and be like, oh, I'm not going to order a ticket because I don't know if it's going to be running. Well, it's going to be running tomorrow, guys. So stay tuned. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. If you haven't, hit that notification bell. I post every single day at 12. I po I've been posting at 10 a couple days. And I don't know. I, I don't know why. I just, I clicked 10 by accident one day. I was like, eh, 10's fine. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Peace out.